I live here in Utah and he is in Cali. The best that I was able to get was 50-50 because he he agreed to, he agreed to um, alternating years. He would get them a school year, I would get them a school year. When they were both living with him the first year, Beatrix didn't want to be there. Everybody knew that. Forrest was okay. It's his dad and um, his dad has always treated him really good. So Beatrix went through a bunch of emotions for a whole year. Every time I talked to her, she would talk about living with me, wanting to come over here. So this year comes, it's my year, it's their year to go to school here, and that was the plan. They were here. Beatrix would talk to her dad about staying with me, living with me, like not going back, you know, like going to school here and staying here. The court order is alternating years. We know that, I know that, he knows that, we both signed it. We know, we understand it, you know. They were with him for a year, going to school there and then they were here they were supposed to, they uh, they're supposed to go to school here Beatrix would talk to her dad about staying with me living with me and he would you know act like well like I'm gonna miss you though um, I don't know I'll think about it me and Beatrix and everybody else figured he was talking about like her staying with me and not going back next year because he already knew that they were staying here for the school year or that was like the order but then he talks to her like he's gonna miss her and he'll think about it and she would bring that up like often before school started and we agreed to have Beatrix here Forrest there so Forrest is already over there in school. Beatrix is in school. So I text him and of course hours go by because that's how he treats me. Um, and then I text him again and then he says, what are you talking about? You made the decision to let Forrest come back. You know, there's a lot more to that. And he was part of it. It was part of like the decision to let Beatrix live with me and Forrest over there and not changing schools and stuff. Anthony is still over there. Anthony is the one who took Forrest over there. So after he said that, I said, okay, so Forrest is coming back then. And he says, what? After he started school? No way I'm gonna let him go back. I'm not playing your games. Most certainly does not deserve to have custody of Beatrix. I lived with him for nine plus years. I saw how he treated everybody. My, my three girls and his son, which most of the time was better than everybody else. Probably because he was the only one that he cared about. But I was always terrified to leave. He would always make me feel like there is no way that I can do anything on my own. He would tell me shit like that and belittle everything that I did, especially like YouTube when he was mad at me. And you know, like guys love to tell you that no one's gonna ever want you with all those kids. Another reason it took me so long to leave is because everything could change and he could change. So Beatrix was born, Beatrix and her sister. Beatrix had to stay in the hospital for about two months. He would go see her as often as he could. I would cry like every day because she wasn't home with me. I guess she would, ha I guess she would have like little spells where she would stop breathing. And I guess like the nurses and doctors would have to, I don't know what they would do to like wake her up. So there'd be times where maybe I would like ask my ex to hold her, like cause I, I don't know, I needed to do something. I was, or I was resting or I don't know. But every time that he would be holding her and not in my sight, all of a sudden I would hear Beatrix screaming at the top of her lungs, screaming. She was an infant. Every time every single time he would have her in his arms she would start screaming like if you like say that like, like you dropped him or something or like they got a shot it was that kind of scream and it happened every time so every time he brought her back to me he would just say she doesn't want me she just wants you i didn't ever really think anything of it until like i realized like why is it happening so often like every time he holds her and he's like out of the room, like, why does she cry like that? 
why does she cry like she's hurt and it started to happen like too often so i was like like really worried like what like wondering like what the fuck is going on so i think at one point i was just like tired of it like no that ain't fucking right and one day um he was talking to my brother and i like overheard him talking about something talking about the baby and i started questioning him i recorded that conversation that we had at first he was like like always because he always lie about everything he was denying about telling my brother anything at all and then eventually he told me why beatrix would cry like that so he, what he told me was that any time that he would hold her i don't know if this is really what happened because i wasn't around and he lies so much but what he told me was that anytime that he held her so they can't like support their heads very well you know so he said that anytime that she would like bury her face in him he said that he never like would help her or move her like she would just start suffocating i guess i don't know what got her to that like fucking screaming he said that basically she wasn't breathing she wouldn't be able to breathe that's what he told me so i guess any every time that he held her he was letting her suffocate herself to the point of almost dying until she was struggling so much and then screaming and then just casually giving her to me like nothing happened and he also told me that in the hospital he would do things to make her cry he would tell me that he saw her like as an animal like she wasn't even human to him and also that when he'd be holding her, he would just want to just drop her. He never even fucking liked her. He never treated his son like that, ever. His son never cried like that. The things that he told me, I'll never, ever get over. And I'll never, ever, ever forgive him for. I believe that he only wants her there just because she doesn't want to be. And he knows that he's fucking with my life and hurting me. 